Java Junkies. I'm your host, Scotty V, and today we're talking about Java Break Mexico Finca La Chiripa. And this is Loki. <laughs> Loki wants to see what's up. Okay, you gotta sit down or get out of the way, something. He's just the star of the show, I mean. It's good. Now, the thing I really love about Java Break, and uh, Z's did this as well, they had a lot of information on their dispensers, and Java Break has a, a ton of information that I love on their uh, labels here. They have the producer, region, elevation, variety, process, and the notes, which is great. Uh, I love when they have the farm on there. I think it's really important to, to represent the farm when you're doing, you know, whiskey or anything like that. It's it's just nice to acknowledge where it comes from. The producer is Finca La Chiripa Farm, owned and operated by Mauro Hernandez Moreno. The elevation is 1,400 meters above sea level, and the region is Chiapas. The variety is Bourbon, Mondo Novo, Rancho Benito, and Quetura. And it says uh, washed. It doesn't say how they are dried, whether they're sun-dried or on raised beds or anything like that. But it does say uh, the process is washed and the notes they get are honey, chocolate, graham cracker, and toffee. So let's see what we get. Let's get a whiff. Ooh. Nutty and spicy like a cayenne pepper. Nuts uh, remind me of cashews and almonds. Mostly cashews. Got uh, some milk chocolate there. But very pleasant. Okay, now it's freshly ground. Let's see how it opens up. Oh wow, that's uh, powerful. Nuttiness still there. Definitely a hint of uh, brown sugar and cayenne pepper. What I get a lot of the time. Uh, I also smell some caramel, like uh, over popcorn. Huh. Has kind of a graham crackery nose. I can see where they get graham cracker on there. That's a really nice nose. Now, the, the funny thing about Java Bricks packaging is they uh, they have so much information. It's beautiful, all packages should be like that. But the one piece of information they don't have is roasting level. They have all that, but no roasting level. But uh, it, uh, I do love when they put the roasting level, but uh, it looks like smells medium to light it uh it definitely doesn't look dark it's not super bright uh it definitely doesn't smell dark so i would say medium to light uh excellent smell though all right we have everything heated to 205 and wetted let's put in our four tablespoons of coffee Ah, that brew stink. Right now I'm getting cooked veggies, carrots, some beets. But I'm also getting, uh, there's a uh, tobacco on the bloom, like uh, cigars, like uh, going into a bowling alley and get that after smoke. Now it's starting to get more savory and meaty. Like uh, bacon or uh, that uh, beef stew. Also kind of sugary. That brings
brings me back. It, uh, it reminds me of uh, every September, I think it was, in McPherson, Kansas, when I was a kid, they'd have a Scottish festival in the park at uh, Lakeside Park, and uh, it smells like the air of the Scottish festival in that uh, park, just uh, all the vendors cooking Polish sausages and uh, German sausages and all sorts of ethnic foods. And um, then uh, they had like uh, uh, Scottish foods and they had uh, roasted almonds and pecans and it just, it smells like the air there walking through the vendors. Doing the brew dance. Now, Java Break is actually one of my favorite coffee shops in Lawrence, Kansas. So go and get yourself some. Uh, you might be able to order them online. I'll look into that and uh, have a link to where you can buy them. But uh, you can just go into their coffee shop, get one of their packages, and uh, try one while you're there. Now, I asked Java Break if they roast their own beans in-house, and they said no. But they, uh, they have them sourced, and then they uh, have a third-party roaster nearby that they have roasted. And then they uh, degas them and serve them. Now, Java Break used to be open 24 hours when I was uh, in Lawrence, Kansas. And it was great for like studying for midterms, or writing a paper, or just going to write a novel. Uh, and it's a great place to hang out. But since the pandemic, they've shortened it from eight to nine. Uh, I guess it's hard staffing through all this. I'm, uh, I'm grateful they're still open and working hard because they're one of my favorite coffee shops and uh, a lot of them closed during the pandemic in Lawrence, Kansas. So it's great to see they're still alive and kicking. Now I get a hint of cinnamon over what smells like Asada tacos. Uh, like you would get from a food truck uh, in LA here. I'm also smelling chocolate milk. Now, if you go into Java Break, uh, one cool aspect is they, uh, to the left, uh, as you immediately enter, they have this cereal bar with uh, an assortment of cereals, both healthy and uh, junk foodie, you know, like Lucky Charms. And uh, the, the great part is you, you get what you want uh, and you can add uh, fruit. I usually add uh, blueberries and use almond milk. Uh, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to make their almond milk in-house, uh, fresh batch. And uh, they, uh, that's our, their main uh, alternative milk. I, they used to not have uh, other alternatives, so you are kind of limited to almond milk, but it's fresh made, uh, they crush it themselves and everything, so it's really great. They also have uh, an assortment of foods and signature drinks, so check out some of their signature drinks on there. But uh, the inside, uh, it's just a really hip place and it's uh, really cool inside and a great place to just hang out with friends, maybe play a game and things like that. We'll review uh, Java Break eventually when we start reviewing coffee shops. We'll take a trip to Lawrence uh, at some point and uh, review the shops there and go there and film uh, if they let us. And, but uh, in the meantime, we're just testing out bags and let's see how they shape up. By the power of the V60 pour over, we have achieved Java Break Mexican Finca La Chiripa. Let's see how it uh, smells. Has a beautiful oily top here. It uh, smells like Polish sausage and the Scottish festival. It's kind of a almost a baked ham, sizzling bacon. I'm vegan, so you would think these things don't smell good, but they. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell pleasant. Uh, if you were to take a smoked bacon and wrap it in milk chocolate, that's what I'm getting on the nose now. Let's see how it uh, tastes. It's got that uh, pleasant bitterness.
Definitely acidic, has that zest. I'm not getting a lot of sweet notes from, uh, you know, or any honey like they did. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting some honey and graham cracker on the finish. Though it smelled more like a, a milk chocolate, I get more of a dark chocolate on the taste. Like a cocoa powder too. Some cacao. Oh, it's got a, a brininess now. Like, uh, if you were to take, it's got, it's got a cherry flavor, not really maraschino, like true cherry. It's got a, a, a cherry note, like if they were salted cherries, if that's possible. It's almost got a melon too. Let's let it sit for a little bit and come back to it when it cools and see if it opens up or changes at all. Now that I let it sit in my mouth for a while, I'm getting that, that taste on the finish. The finish lasts for a long time and changes. I'm getting a uh, Oreo cookie, like the chocolate from an Oreo cookie, like uh, with almost a creaminess like ice cream. Uh, if you're eating uh, the chocolates in mint chocolate chip or cookies and cream and you just hit that Oreo cookie part, that's uh, mostly the bite is Oreo cookie. It's got a bit of an earthy note for like a, a root vegetable, like uh, beets. There's almost a mashed potatoes and gravy. Like I'm getting kind of a Thanksgiving dinner vibe right now. Like that turkey with cranberry and the gravy and Overall, a very good cup of coffee. Uh, reminds me of uh, being there, you know. And happen to, I always got a slammer because I, I want to be up all night writing. So I'd get uh, their Lawrence slammer is a uh, shot of uh, shots of espresso, and then instead of filling it with water like americano, they fill it with coffee. So, <laughs> so it definitely keeps you wired. <laughs> I heard somebody say it was like jet fuel, and like, yeah, you have to like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but if you love copy, that uh, that slammer really hits the spot for me. Now, the slammer is also called uh, Shot in the Dark. Other places I found uh, some other places or uh, a red eye. Uh, all right, that's it for Java Junkies. Join us next week for another Bones episode. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>